Welcome to the Smarter Motion Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about how to upgrade the firmware on your controller. To find the latest version of firmware, go to our website, acsmotioncontrol.com, and find under Support Materials the Downloads page. On this page, there's a section labeled Spy Plus ADK Suite. There are two types of files related to firmware that you can download in this section. The first is the Spy Plus ADK Suite. This is what we refer to as a full release. It contains the MMI Application Studio, which is the software that's required to upgrade the controller's firmware. This software is also used to set up and tune your system, as well as develop your application code. The other type of file found here is a firmware release. These files are released in between full releases and contain things like new firmware versions, as well as updates to the MMI Application Studio and documentation. It is important to note the version number for the available files. The newest firmware will be found in the highest numbered release. In this case, the full release 2.30 has the most recent version of the firmware. Once you have the software you need, open up the MMI Application Studio and connect to your controller. Right-click on the controller icon, select Add Component, Utilities, Upgrade and Recovery Wizard. Select the Upgrade Downgrade option and hit Next. Here, you'll browse to the directory which contains the firmware that you want to put on your controller. So if I browse under the C drive, Program Files, and ACS Motion Control, I can find all possible firmwares that I have available. In this case, I'm going to upgrade this controller to firmware 2.30, so I'll find the firmware folder in this directory. Note that I do not go to the SB1218PC folder, but stop at the firmware folder above it. I'll press OK and hit Next. On this page, I have the option of loading a user application. Note that if I choose to do this, it will overwrite any existing application on the controller. In this case, I won't do that, and I'll hit Next. This page shows a preview confirming what the communication is, what the directory that you'll load the firmware from is, and where to find the upgrader utility. I'll hit Next to begin the upgrade process. Note that this process will take a few minutes. Once the process completes, You'll see a report showing what the previous version of the firmware was, the current version of the firmware, and a note stating that the controller was successfully upgraded. Now that the upgrade is complete, you can press Finish and go on to developing your application. For more information on ACS Motion Control products, as well as additional instructional videos and documentation, please go to our website at www.acsmotioncontrol.com. Thank you.